Bonjour, everyone. It is Wednesday. I say Wednesday? No, it is Thursday. I don't even know what it is. I've been thinking lately that I would change the name of my my talks, morning talk, but I'm not really sure to I share because sometimes of circumstance, and depends on where I am in the world, I cannot get to it always in the morning. But I have been, so I'm going to keep on trying, but I may call it I share because it seems to be, I don't know, a topic or a, a label for me. Sorry, you see my mouth. See my mouth. I am up this morning and I'm just thinking about what to share with you because, um, uh, I don't know, it's almost like blank. Like, I don't really have anything to, to give you or to, for you to take away from me because, and my light is blinking on my camera. <laughs> anyway, let me just go and continue as my light blinks and just see how far I can go. Anyway, have you, I just wonder how you've been doing and how everyone's been doing here with with me or if you're following me um, and how life is and how you're seeing your life. How do you see your life uh, on a daily basis? Are you trapped within the, the illusions of the mind that is describing to you that you're not worthy or that you are worthy or all of this play, you know, the positive and negative are the same thing, I think, within our minds. And as our minds arise with thoughts, which isn't even ours, you've ever thought about where those thoughts come from? Like my thoughts come, seem as though they're like clouds floating in the, on the sky and my brain, my brain um, is like a signal, it's like a radio signal and it attaches to some kind of thought because I don't make these thoughts up, like thoughts can arise and tell me that I'm something other than I'm at the moment or it can have some kind of flash of memory of like from like when I was like five or seven or ten or something like this and that I just like where does that come from or it can make a label or a judgment of something that is happening apparently that is happening in the existence of the now I don't know so anyway, I turn off the music. We're listening to a classical station. Well, I'm try I'm getting on a roll here. So as you observe yourself, and if my camera turns off, it turns off. I don't know. I'm trying to keep this as real as possible, as you know that. So as you observe yourself, tell me what is it that makes you happy? Is it is it for somebody to validate you and to compliment you on the clothes that you're wearing or that the good job that you did or I'm not saying anything these things are wrong it's not that but if you get attached to those what happens when you're feeling not so great and you're gonna feel not so great because that's what life it is it goes up and down so and someone will tell you that you have too many mood swings or that you're too you know that you're depressed or something like that as you recognize your um, you recognize your life or your the flow of existence because it always changes it always shifts and your energy energy can change especially if you're the observer or the seer of your experience or the ego because everything is acted out as the ego because it's coming from the past and the the past and the future which is missing out the now so if that resonates with you, if not, then go and look at some things about consciousness and the development of consciousness and what we do know about ourselves and our existence. We have such a power in ourselves and the intention of our, our directed power um, or allowance actually or even just being in good space as much as you can. It's not saying don't allow any feelings or negative feelings that arise and fall because they are impermanent and they rise and fall and that's basically what I got to say because it is a constant constant attention on this a constant awareness until your life becomes awareness consciousness and you're living consciousness and when you're